ready? Yes. One, two, three. The grand reopening of Detroit's Gordon Park. 50 years ago, it was here a police raid sparked a week of citywide looting, burning, and killing. Lamont Causey lived right near here. He was eight years old. We grew up over here in this community called 12th Street at the time in uh, Claremont. My family had moved over here in the early 40s. We were one of the first African-American families over here. Causey leads Brothers Always Together, a volunteer group that's the keeper of the flame at Gordon Park, working with the city to bring it back to life. Well, didn't it come out great? So I've been here several times with uh, Lamont and Brothers Always Together with the events, and, and it was okay the way it was. There was some open space, but it wasn't the kind of quality park that, as far as I was concerned, said to our children, you are valued, you're important, you deserve the best. This is my longtime childhood friend, Mike Williams. It used to be a sandbox years ago in this playground, and we met in the sandbox actually up here. It was over 200 businesses up and down 12th Street. Right. On the other side, you had businesses. Businesses, bike shops on this side of the corner, yeah. donut shops. It was like a, a downtown. And if you look, you say, well, how did all that fit in over here? Well, it did. On July 23rd, 1967, Detroit was hit by a riot. When I woke up that morning and opened up the door, all you seen was black smoke in the sky. As young as Kazi was, he remembers what happened. His stores along 12th Street looted and burned. Some people call it rebellion. Some people call it an uprising. And like I told anybody before, if you was over here, you actually knew what it was. It was a riot. Keep on riot until they stop on it. We didn't realize it until we got older, how terrific it really was. I mean. And, and to come out of this is, is, is remarkable. I'm not going to even call it a park. I'm going to call it a venue. Because if you see this here stage, there's going to be plenty of entertainment. And we have exercise equipment over there. You have the playground equipment. So this is just more than a, just a park. And we've been waiting for this for 50 years. Since I've been here for five years, you can see um, how the diversity has come through. And that's been such a, a pleasure to see in my neighborhood. And then to have this park, I think it'll bring everybody in the community together. As you can look around, you can see everybody's on a peaceful journey. And it's just really a wonderful experience. It represents that we're on the move to restabilizing our community, uh, creating uh, warmth, uh, safety, uh, homes. So we're, we're, we're creating an area now of uh, a new development. In just the past week, a sign went up on what used to be 12th Street, now Rosa Parks Boulevard. The vacant house undergoing renovation will become a local cultural center. This is the first phase, but then we go to the mixed use. This area will be developing like 40 lofts. On the first floor, there will be retail space. If all goes as planned, this will be the first commercial project on a plot of land where some original 12th Street businesses once stood just a block from the intersection that changed Detroit history and across the street from a brand new Gordon Park. We've been here for over 70 years, our families, and we've been waiting for 50 years for something else to happen. And so this is the start. Funding made possible in part by the Detroit Land Bank Authority. The Detroit Land Bank, working to build better neighborhoods throughout the city. BuildingDetroit.org.